Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Anio Sign. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, April 18th, 2022. I hope you all enjoyed your fabulous weekend. Now let's take a relaxing brain break to start off this amazing week. Hi, and for today's brain break and SEL technique, we'll be representing how one simple joke can cause more harm than you think. Hey, I can't wait to get my test scores back. I studied all night. Yeah, I'm excited too. Okay guys, I took out some time last night to grade your test. I'm going to give it to you guys face down and you can flip it over when you're ready. Okay, let's flip it over at the same time. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go, I got a 94. Oh. <laughs> How do you get a 42? <laughs> hey, hey, wait, it's a joke, I was kidding. As you can see, Destiny gets a bad grade on her test, and her friend starts laughing and making jokes out of it. This makes Destiny feel really bad, and move away. Aiden responds by saying it's not that serious, but honestly, it is. Because if you don't have anything nice to say, do not say it at all. Now let's continue. Destiny, I was pretty surprised by your grade. I know you're a hard-working student. So you'll do better in future tests with your determination. Thank you. And I saw your friend laughing at you earlier. Don't worry about them. I know your potential, and I know you'll do great in future tests and prove them wrong. Plus, if you ever want to talk, my door is open. Thanks. The teacher reassures Destiny that she's a great student and that she'll do great on future tests and prove her friends wrong. Aiden was a bad friend by making fun of Destiny when she got something that she was ashamed of. Don't surround yourself with people like this. And don't make fun of someone, especially if they feel very deeply about it. And remember, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. So relax with us next time for our next brain break and SL technique. Now let's go to the word of the day. Hey Randy, how was your tennis game? It was actually really good. Oh, what made it so good? Well, I did lose, but my adversary told me that I was a great player and I was talented. Well, you are talented, and it's good that your opponent was nice. Yeah, I can't wait for my next game, and I hope my next adversary is just as nice. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on, on Word of the Day. Day. Well, now I know how to use the word adversary whenever I want a challenge. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Wani. Sports fans, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today, we're talking about the Sepak Takra ball. Sepak Takra, otherwise called foot volleyball, has been played for over 500 years, mainly in Malaysia. Sepak Takra uses a small rattan ball with holes in it and players can use any part of their body except for hands to get the ball over the net, mainly the feet. The ball is made of strips of woven fiber formed into the ball. In the beginning, these stripes were made from rattan, which is a lightweight wooden blend, but now they are made from man-made materials like hard plastic. Can you imagine playing an entire game without using your hands? Now let's see what's cooking with Sonia. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch sure is yummy. It is popcorn chicken, baked beans, some spice veggie juice, applesauce, barbecue sauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teacher know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's get back to Bonnie. Thank you, Sonia. That sounds delicious. Scholars, your books are on sale now. The prices are now $35. Your books are sold on myschoolbox.com. Get yours now. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. WBA testing is almost done. Good luck today to our amazing 4th to 8th graders. They have their signs NWA. 
Good luck, Patriots. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. I hope it's not cloudy. Thank you, Vani. Hey, Patriots. Today will be a cool 85 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered showers. It's going to be rainy near the end of the afternoon, so take this chance to sit down indoors and read a good book. In other weather news, an ancient water system is being restored. A long time ago, farmers built water channels in southern Spain. Their purpose was to bring water to the town below them. With all the bad climate change caused, it did inspire a nearby university to revive them. Spain's been experiencing some droughts lately, so the stream will be a huge help. The leaders say this project requires no technology, just a little maintenance. What a great way to get outside and help your community. Now let's go to Chanel and Destiny for Hot Topic. Thank you, David. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Hey, Destiny. If you could have any snack for the whole day, what would it be? Probably Airheads. Well, I choose Animal Crackers, especially since it's National Animal Crackers Day. Hmm. Unlimited Animal Crackers. I like it. Kingdom of Hearts 4 has been announced, and stores got a cool new look. It doesn't have a release date yet, but it will include some hyper-realistic visuals. That sounds like a game from the future. The NBA playoffs are here and have everyone going crazy. The playoffs started last week Saturday and will end June 19th. I'm cheering for the Miami Heat. How about you, Destiny? I'm definitely rooting for the Warriors. The Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards were a hit. There were a lot of deserved winners like Spider-Man No Way Home for Best Movie, Mr. Beast for Male Creator, and Chloe Kim for Female Sports Star. Honestly, I just wanted to watch someone get slimed. That's all for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Peyton for the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny and Chanel. Today's birthday girls are Indira and Caitlin Bonick. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Peyton. And I wish you all a happy birthday, Patriots. Scholars, here are your pets' expectations. They represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What was the first toy to be advertised on television? Teachers, please send your answers to pines at renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!